Hey guys, um, it's Adam again, and I just wanted to share with you for this Car Talks um, a little bit about drugs. Now, you may think, well, what, are, what drugs have to do with, uh, you know, IT career and PowerShell advice and all this stuff? But let me think, give me, let me give you this here. So, you know, you know the hell they say that marijuana is a gateway drug to more, um, more potent drugs like uh, cocaine and heroin and um, all those well, stronger drugs. They say that marijuana is the drug that gets people uh, kind of into the the habit of doing drugs, getting that uh, you know that effect and everything. And eventually, if that doesn't get strong enough for them, then they go on to to, uh, to other things. I consider PowerShell like a gateway drug. Um, I, I consider PowerShell as the gateway drug to so somebody that wants to learn about software development. Now that's not to say that PowerShell itself cannot be a software development language. It is. I, I'm a PowerShell developer. I do it every day, but it's not the norm. So let me let me uh, come back and, and uh, uh, kind of bring this back to a, a way of somebody that wants to uh, you know, wants to be a developer. Maybe they want to learn C Sharp. Maybe they want to learn, um, I don't know, Java or, you know, COBOL or Fortran, heaven forbid. Um, PowerShell is a really good way to kind of get used to programming in general. With PowerShell, all languages, all languages are generally the same. I mean, that they, they have constructs, they have, you know, variables, they have um, loops. Um, they all have kind of a general uh, way about them, especially ob object-oriented programming languages. They all they're all fairly similar um, because PowerShell is so easy to learn. It allows you to really use PowerShell just as a learning tool for software development. PowerShell allows you to to not get all caught up in the syntax of you know, how do I build this for each loop? Or how do I do this, um, you know, how do I do this, instantiate this variable? Uh, do I have to worry about semicolons or not? All that stuff doesn't matter with PowerShell. It's just the PowerShell is a very simple and straightforward language to represent. Now, granted, you're not probably going to be writing some big application in PowerShell, but if you know the PowerShell, you know just general programming concepts. You're able to put together um, various pieces of code and allow you kind of construct um, solutions to problems in PowerShell. That knowledge can easily go over to just about any other language. I noticed this when I was, whenever I was trying to start to learn Python. Uh, Python is uh, significantly different than PowerShell, but um, I was able to pick up on it really quickly because I knew kind of the, the programming concepts that I learned from VBScript and PowerShell. People think, well, it's just a scripting language. Well, I mean, it's a scripting language uh, per se, I suppose, but um, but it still has all of the, the various constructs as the quote unquote big boy languages um, that, uh, that, that are out there. So if you are, if you're an IT professional, if you're in any kind of other um, profession that you really want to learn about programming in general, and maybe you want to become a, a software developer one, one day, a really good language to learn, just to learn the high level constructs and, the, and the, the basics of just pure programming is PowerShell. Again, it's the reason I say this is because, not because, I mean, I, I love PowerShell, I use it every day, but coming from, um, coming, seeing Python, seeing, you know, uh, I did Java in high school or in high school and college. I did, uh, I took programming language classes. I've, I've looked at a lot of different languages out there and PowerShell by far and away is just the easiest syntax wise. You don't get caught up in all the, you know, all the, the syntax that requires to, um, you know, to build these build tools. Instead, you just kind of, the syntax is simple, easy to learn, and you can easily just put two and two together and build all these concepts together. So if you are a, if you want to learn just programming in general and kind of learn how that works, I highly recommend um, trying PowerShell out as a tool.